Hello everyone, I'm here today with another review for the International Booker long list um, of this year and that is uh, Wretchedness by Andrei Tichy and um, translated by Nicola Smolly. Um, and this book um, is about a, a music player, I think it was a cellist or a violinist, I think it's a cellist um, in Sweden and he meets this junkie and he he starts changing his his view of of life basically. Um, that's the main premise that people often say but um, to be honest this book has very little plot. It's just a sequence of thoughts, um, very stream of consciousness uh, but in a very jarring way for me. Um, so this, the topics that it touches upon are quite interesting. It touches upon um, racism, especially within the context of the refugee crisis that happened a few years ago and still going on. Um, but when it started, many people from Syria and other countries in the Middle East, I would say, um, also from Africa, but I think the majority were from um, Middle East, um, they came to to Europe looking for asylum and Sweden took a lot of them um, and I think this reflects a lot of the Swedish feelings about that um, because of course some people were happy about it but some people were uh, very against it. Um, it also talks about the class system and again in Sweden the class system is not as pronounced as in other in other countries but still it's there. There is the normal Swedish people that they call the Swedi and then they have all this underground kind of too cool for being normal kind of people. Um, and for me, I, I have to be honest, I didn't like this book very much. Uh, I thought some of the points that they made were valid, but the way it was written, and I don't know if this reflects the author's uh, ideas, probably not, but the way it was written was very jarring at times, the way that racist ideas were portrayed, and um, also the it has a lot of drug and drug abuse in it and the way that is portrayed like that was cool um, and it made it these people special with respect to the other people that just had jobs and lives and kids and whatever um, you know the standard um, ideal ideal life um, and it's I think it it's it, in that sense, it felt to me uh, like quite millennial in the sense that these are just people that have not figured out their lives, but they think that there is a deeper meaning for the fact that they have not figured out their lives. Um, and that's how I would summarize uh, a lot of millennial fiction, and this was gave me that same feeling. Uh, people with a lot of troubles and thoughts that don't know what to do with, um, that just want to justify to themselves by thinking that they are cooler than the rest. So it's like that trope of not like other girls, but in a wider spectrum of people. Um, so yeah, that was, I didn't like that point of view a lot. Also, the writing style is so jarring because it's just, um, Bob from the Bobosphere put it really well in the Discord, he said it felt like verbal diarrhea and that's exactly how it felt to me as well. Um, it was just thoughts after thoughts, like sometimes there was no paragraph breaks, like there was, I was reading it in my phone, but like there are times in which like the amount of text that fitted in my phone was just one sentence and with like 20 or 30 arms and this and this and this and this and no break and yeah it was just so exhausting to read there were just blocks and blocks of text and it was so exhausting and also I mean the writing style reminded me a little bit of Doug's new report by Lucy Oldman 
But in that book, at least, I think we had this kind of cyclic, obsessive structure to it in which the main character goes back and back to the same things. And it does make more sense in my mind that once you get used to it a little bit, it feels like you go back to this person's minds over and over again. And I think that's also something that I saw, for example, in Milkman by Anna Barnes. But this one is just like so much more random. There is no structure to it. There is barely any plots. It's just ideas put there out there. And yeah, I mean, I know that some people love it. Um, so maybe it's just me that I didn't get on with the writing style, but I definitely did not get on with the writing style. And uh, the tone of the book. So yeah, for me this one was a, a disappointment unfortunately. I, To be honest, when I saw The Longest the first time, I didn't think that this sounded like something particularly that I was going to like. And I, I thought maybe I will because of other people's reviews, but when I read it, yeah, it was definitely not for me. The writing style was not for me. The tone was not for me. The topics could have been for me, but the just the angle they were um, they were tackled on it, they were not for me. So um, yeah, unfortunately this was not for me, and I don't know if it will make it to the shortlist because I can see like there are some new elements that could um, appeal to to the to the judges, and definitely they appeal to other people. But for me, um, if I was a judge, I would not put this in the in the shortlist. Uh, but we will see. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, let me know if you have read it and you liked it and which are the elements that you liked. Because I would love to know. Um, and we can discuss that in the comments. Um, and that's all for me. Until next video. Bye!